what I wonder what our guests are going to get in this segment. You know, we haven't had this segment yet, but it is uh, time for our creative of the week. Oh, wait a minute. And this our is creative of the week, this is the first time our creative of the week has ever gotten two gifts. Oh, it is. Guys, here you go. Wear them with pride. Here you go, man. Thank you. There Great, you go. thank you. And Eric. <laughs> Boom. Creative Boom. of the week. Oh, thank you so and much. I, I expect to see you coming to the office, wearing that shirt, drinking some coffee out of the mug, all right? Come on, I don't disappoint us now, all right, Eric? I apologize. I Eric, Eric Curtis is the director of photography, and Dan Brianza is here to talk about, well, we're both here to talk about weekend film crew. Um, but congratulations, Eric, to Thank you. you. You know, you can take your hat off if you want to. No, no stays on, on. stays on, always yeah, wearing a hat. He's squinting through a camera his whole life. Well, who wants to talk about the hands-on workshop? Well, yeah, let's talk about what the whole thing, why are you here? Well, Weekend Film Crew was created uh, just to kind of fill a gap that uh, was needed in Tampa Bay. Uh, talked to a lot of people, worked with a lot of local filmmakers, and there seems to be um, just a lot of people with a lot of questions. A lot of people who <laughs> technically need help. Like what? What kind of questions? Like how to do it right, how to light it, how to how to make your sound sound correct. How, mm -hmm. You know, and so. Just through talking uh, through different directors in the in the area, I got referred to Eric, and uh, also who knows everything, right? Who no, is <laughs> not everything. Everyone who is one of the local masters, and I was really excited to get him uh, on board with this workshop. And basically, we decided let's let's put on uh, a couple workshops that can kind of help the local filmmakers and help people who have an, uh, the um, the idea of to work in in the industry. How did you get involved in this? Uh, just, I'm just working with local filmmakers, and I've been an event uh, planner and, and event. Oh, wonderful. So I, I run fitness competitions, and I, I uh, have a magazine locally. So. Are, you, are you an inspiring filmmaker yourself, I or am are you a successful <laughs> filmmaker? I am an, an inspiring filmmaker. I'm very excited to be actually attending the workshop. So. Uh, so well, what is the name of the whole thing? What is the, what is the whole, is it a weekend? Is it a day? Is it a month? The uh, film, it's Tampa Filmmaker Workshop. Okay. And uh, the name of the, my company is Weekend Film Crew. Oh, very cool. So when are the actual workshops, and are you going to be teaching a class, Eric? Yeah, I'll be doing it along with Rob Allen, another director of photography. Who uh, couldn't be with us tonight because he has the flu? Yes, that's <laughs> correct. couldn't be here just because he couldn't so be here. So we're still working it out, what we're going to do, um, and we're going to put together a pretty... But you have course. some pretty good shows because there's lighting, there's horror, there's... I mean, tell us some of the other workshops that people can attend. Well, basically, we've broken it up into lighting for horror, which uh, since Eric just uh, completed uh, lighting this uh, uh, Hollows Point, which is an upcoming film, uh, and if you see the trailer, it's amazing. So we wanted him to be able to, to basically enlighten the community on how he did such a great job on this. Uh, and the other that uh, Rob is going to lead is the lighting for film and television. And Rob has an extensive background in commercials and, you know, um, all kinds of different uh, environments. So basically we're going to start out the, both workshops with everybody together and teach them the fundamentals of what they need to know about the equipment, how to set it up, how to make it work right, what its uses are, and, and go from there. And then we'll break it up into the different workshops and then we're going to uh, actually give them an opportunity to get their hands on the equipment and actually light scenes. Oh, Play fun. with them, that's awesome. You know, um, it's funny how this whole thing came up because we get a, a show schedule coming out, you know, at, sometimes we're out six, seven, eight weeks, we already have guest book, right? Because right. It, it becomes such a high demand to be on the show, believe it or not. <laughs> and I think it that's does. wonderful. However, Eric, who I've worked with several times, known him since he started doing this whole thing, Eric and I go back a long way, and I consider him one of the most talented people I know and Thank contributes you. in so many different aspects, not only from behind the camera, but from the way things should look. He's, he's meticulous when it comes to doing what he does in his art and his craft, and that's impressive. And we were out shooting with his donated time. His in the rain. Donated resources <laughs> out at Fort DeSoto this past two days in the rain when everybody out in the middle of the state is flying around with tornadoes, whipping their houses in circles. We were out there making it happen. He goes, yeah, I'm going to see you on Thursday. I'm like, oh, you're coming out to Media Mix? And he's like, no, I'm going to be on this show. I'm like, isn't that wonderful? And I, ho I hold you in high regard and high talent, and it's great to have you on the show, Eric. Thank you, Rob. It's good to be here. Finally. 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 Yeah. Finally. 
Well, tell us real quick about the workshops. How can people attend um, them? Are they free? How many days does it go on? Is it a one day or is it over the weekend? Which would be kind of funny. It is. Because it's, it's actually, we coordinated the date to be at the last day of the Gasparilla Film Festival. Oh, that's wonderful. It's March 4th. It's a Sunday, and it will run all day long uh, from 9 to 5. And uh, you, they can find out more information about it and sign up for it on weekendfilmcrew.com. Is there any cost or anything like that? What is the... Uh... There is. There's an early registration fee um, before February 14th of 149 And after that, it's, it's going to go up to 199 And um, where is it? It's going to be held in Ybor City at the Centro Astoriano. It's <laughs> a corner of uh, Palm and Nebraska. Wonderful. I think that's great. Any, and any is there a URL people can go to to get all the information and send money to and all that kind of stuff? It's weekendfilmcrew.com. www.weekendfilmcrew.com. And you heard about it here on Media Talk Live at Splitsville in Channel Side at Media Mix. Obviously, the second Thursday <laughs> of the month. Sorry, I got to plug ourselves too. You guys aren't the only ones getting plugs in this show. Eric, I'll tell you that right that's now. It's fine. It's okay. Eric, how can people get a hold of you if they, if they need a director of photography or anything or even your advice? Well, you can get a hold of me through Tampa Digital if you want to get a hold of me or something. So I'm always there. Awesome. That's wonderful. And, Thank and you so much. And we have your URL. Thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations, Eric, on being creative of the week. Thank you.